The tip I'm going to show you right now is one that a lot of people, a lot of Mac users are a little confused about because I see it all the time when I work on your computers. It's how to deal with .dmg files. That's short for disk image files. Um, and once this Firefox uh, DMG finishes downloading, I'll show you how to deal with it. What the DMG file is, it's, it's, a, it's an image of a disk. So whenever you uh, double click it to open it, it mounts on your desktop just as if it were a removable disk, say a flash drive or an external USB hard drive or firewire hard drive. It, it emulates being that kind of drive. And then you can copy off the file that you need to uh, um, once it's open. So once this is opened up here, we'll get rid of that. Here's the Firefox.dmg. Now, what a lot of you are doing is you're mounting the DMG. I double clicked it, it's mounting right now. There's the disk image mounted. Now, what a lot of you are doing are just like say with Firefox, you're running Firefox right here. You're double clicking Firefox and just running it from within this disk image. And that's not the way you want to do it. Um, it has to remount the disk image every time and then it's probably not saving your, uh, your bookmarks or whatnot. But well, what you want to do is just exactly what it shows you here. That arrow says, it doesn't say it, but what it means is click this and drag it to this. That'll drop it into your applications folder. So if you do that, this happens to have an older version there, but I'll go ahead and replace it. It's now copying it to your applications folder. Once it finishes doing that, once it finishes doing that, we'll simply close this window. I like to do it simply by hitting this tab here, this button here which expands the window into a normal finder window. And now you'll see that there's your Firefox disk image file ready to be ejected. So just go ahead and click eject. That unmounts it. And now you can move this to the trash. You're done with it. And now you have Firefox actually on your computer in the applications folder, and you won't be running it from the disk image file. So it's always there. If you want it on your, uh, on your dock, just go find it, drag it over to the dock and you're good to go. So that's how you deal with a disk image file for any application. Just drag the icon either onto your desktop or drag it to your applications folder. Or if they give you the little link right there in the window to drag it to your applications folder, go ahead and do it that way. But you don't want to run it just from within the disk image file.